and they're absolutely ridiculous and everyone is worse than next man everyone's worse than next i want to call it i want to call it cancer but i think that's not fair to cancer going on fellas if you don't know there's this app out there called tiktok uh every every video that i find that's got like a really good red pilled coffee video i could make from it there is about a hundred horrible tiktoks and one of the most important things for women is understanding that even though you're the queen you're still that the music huh wife. your value <laughs> is in the ability it's like we just found captain america in the made. ice i'm sorry <laughs> that you don't like that but that's how the world looks at it and again i deal in black jordan peterson man laying out facts cold hard facts woman, but if you're 40, i'm gonna lose a lot of you on this one i swear to god children the world looks at you as something but hey he stole my hashtag you, he stole the red pill hashtag he gets what he gets on this one judged heavily on the on the caliber of man you can keep not get not deal with but keep one of the most dude he sounds like my grandfather who was like a preacher down in alberta the only difference is my grandfather would never wear pinstripe he's like i don't want to show off like one of those <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i know a lot of people are more people are kevin samuel fans than ryan fans so i get it but whatever you can't call this red pill in fact you can't call most of this crap red pill you know why he's sitting here trying to tell tell like i'm here to help men didn't say anything about men. He was just sitting there take telling women, hey, you guys need to fix your stuff, act right, be good. We're good. But you need to change all this stuff for me. That's like the same men's rights advocacy. It's like, hey, if I nag chicks enough, maybe they'll stop being thoughts and stay at home and bake cookies and cake and be ravenous for me but never touch anybody else. It's like, well, like, what's the point of life? What's the point of life if they don't get to have any choice in the matter? You just get to make them, you know, carbon copy things. It's like, I get it. Everybody wants a girl that acts right. But like the grass is the grass is greener where you water it. I could probably make like a two hour video on this, but it's going to be the most depressing, somber thing ever. Like, here's the here, here's the takeaway. If you're watching a video about men, masculinity or any of that shit. And the only thing they tell you is about like what women need to do to be better for you. Then just realize you're getting you're getting baited, dude giving you free clicks free clicks you got to pay for that suit pay for my tie this is this is 50 percent silk motherfucker <laughs> look i'll tell you right now you get the worst girl ever and i've got like my sisters are all horse girls so i already know this you get you get a good man puts up with some doesn't put up with anything good boundaries looks attractive they'll calm right down they'll start acting right but that's what people do when they like each other when there's genuine desire they generally don't do things to piss the other person off I just saved you like four years of marriage counseling, by the way. You're welcome. You're welcome, TikTok. You're welcome, YouTube. <laughs> Maybe I should start doing that. Put on a suit. Start calling women trash. You need to be better and throw white claws at them. Dude, I'll make a million subs in like two weeks. Your wife has a different sex drive than you. True or false? True. And you're projecting on her that she should want it as much as you. True? <laughs> And in the moment that she gives you this look at look that, that face, says, look at that. Again, you're choosing to interpret that as maybe she thinks I'm unattractive. Do you oh. really think that her sex drive is about attraction? Oh, okay. So look at that face. I can feel the pain in that face. You know, oh, 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 that guy, that dude. Okay. Marriage counseling is trash. I just, I always hate, I can't do a video on this one. So if you guys don't know, the guy who invented and popularized like uh, uh, marriage counseling was this guy named Papano. And look him up on Wikipedia. Horrible dude. Horrible dude. Turns out he was big on eugenics. Around the 1940s, he decided to change to change his occupation. I'm not sure why. For some reason, eugenics fell out of favor around 1945. 
And uh, he's like, he leans on his other passion, which is marriage counseling. So it just kind of lets you know. Everybody's talking about uh, the Austrian painter scenes. So yeah. But, okay. Two reasons people go to marriage counseling. One, the girl wants a divorce, but... She wants to be able to tell her friends, like, we tried everything. I tried marriage counseling. We tried talking and talking. And surprising enough, the talking didn't work. It's not my fault, though. He's the ass, not me. And then from the guy's perspective, the other the other reason is because she goes, you know what? I'm going to get this guy to help me tag team on this dude here and tell him why he needs to do what I say or else I'm leaving him. Either way is bad. And then if you look at that dude's face, like that look, that's just the look of pain, man. He's sitting there. He's having to bear out his soul, and the whole time he's just like, why do I have to sit here and have two people explain to me why not sleeping with my wife makes me a monster? Oh, a dating coach. This chode. Can I say chode, or does that hit the language? Actually, we probably hit the so many different filters. All right. Um, anytime. I'm telling you right now. Anytime you run into a certified dating coach or any of that nonsense, you know he's bullshitting you. I'm a professional dating and relationship coach, and this is characteristics of the rarest type of female personality there is. Bargain the basement Sigma Troy female. Francis. Sigma, and what? Sigma oh, boy. is a very independent person who does not rely upon others for her emotional well-being. Mm. Also, she does not follow trends, and she does whatever she wants. They are very low, and they would never cheat and they are very selective about who they get with and would only have a very high value partner. Now, unlike the Sigma male, they are very adaptable in social situations oh, and yeah. they can change their character to fit that social situation if they need to. Also, because she is so confident and self-assured, she can be seen as very intimidating to men who are not alpha males or Sigma males. Our professional... <laughs> Look at this bargain basement Troy Francis certified dating coach talking about Sigma females. Did you guys hear that? I'm going I'm to let you in on a little secret. I've been, in, I've been in the business for a while. I didn't want to be, but the business came to me. Um, so what was a Sigma female? A Sigma female. Which is like Sigma male, right? That's like alphas and betas. No, this one's better. It's a Sigma. She's a chick, but she doesn't do anything that chicks do. She acts like a dude. Oh, she acts like a dude, and she won't sleep with anybody except for you. Because you're so damn great, and she's loyal, and she'll never cheat. Oh, by the way, she's she'll do anything you want, and she's adaptable. She'll change her personality. So, in order to be, in order, and this is, this is, I, I'm, I may be bad at the dating coach Scientologist thing here, but, uh, so a Sigma female, and this is probably appealing to the female audience, is A, a girl who doesn't get emotional. A girl who knows what she wants. She doesn't need no man. She's strong and independent, which is such cope. Everybody needs people. No man's an island. And, well, but she's also super loyal. It's like he's reading an astrology card, you know? Oh, but on top of that, and that's the part that scares me. She changes who she is depending on who she's with. Do you know what he just described there? That's like the one thing he kind of got right. Is he basically described a version of borderline personality disorder. Yeah, so if you're really a Sigma female, you're actually kind of BPD. You're BPD, but you act like a man most of the time until you're really into a guy, and then you change. Look, I don't know what to tell you, but this is why I refuse to be called a coach or a dating coach, because I'm like, these guys are fucking retarded. <laughs> uh, all right, here. Something positive out of this. One, he doesn't care if he's right or if it's true. He's trying to sleep with girls. Two, most guys do that Matthew Hussey thing where they eventually realize that uh, dating coaches, they usually start with like helping men, but then they find out men are cheap. Men don't make very much money, don't spend very much money. They complain a lot. They're horrible clients. No offense, guys. You are. Uh, MasterCard just had a thing out where men was men was men in the world for consumer spending was like a four trillion dollar industry. And do you want to take a guess what percentage women are? 14 trillion that's right full fellas they make 70 cents on the dollar but spend in the order of magnitude of four times as much as guys do on knickknacks so yeah uh what you find out is hey if i tell girls what they want to hear if i pander to girls they'll give me money especially 43 year olds that haven't locked down a man and have a great corporate job with tons of money to spend because it turns out even the finest cat litter isn't that expensive and, like, downtown apartments aren't super expensive right now. So they got a ton of disposable income. Spending on red wine and dating coaches. Fuck this guy. 
Okay, so I used to have a pretty popular dating podcast, and so I read a lot of, like, dating advice just to see, like, what the kids are saying these days. I'm 28. And um, I'm really yeah, confused because I keep seeing posts that are like, mm, a kiss on the first date is too much. If he touches you on the first date, he doesn't respect you. Like, holding hands Nobody on the says first this. date is a red flag. Nobody like, says before this. Before I met my boyfriend when I was dating, I would, like, go through an entire relationship over the course of one date, and that was perfect. Are you want to... All right, yeah, unpack that. She's 28. I'll tell you right now, do you know who says they're 28? Anybody over the age of 36. How old are you? 28. That's like uh, like when girls always say, like, what's your notch count? They'll always say three. That's just like, that's the number. How big, how big is your guys' dick? I don't know, eight inches? Like it's, how much do you make a year? Six figures, six figures. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Is that your car? Uh, the Lamborghini? Yeah, yeah. I can't drive it now, though. It's in the shop. <laughs> That's such a... Oh, like, starting it off with a lie. You're going to call yourself a dating... What you call yourself? A dating coach or a dating expert? I'll tell you right now. Here's why Here's why you don't take women's advice online about dating. And it's not to be mean, but I'll lay it out to you in, like, the most simplest terms possible. No woman is able to tell you what you need to hear. Because you either got a girl that married her high school boyfriend the first guy she ever slept with they've been together for a lifetime in which case she has no experience to tell you anything about dating none she knows one guy she's never dated she doesn't know what it's like or you get a girl that's been nothing but like serial monogamy one night stands never settled down with a man she can't tell you anything either because she's an abject failure in relationships because she can't hold one down because that's her job so yeah, and then you get some where the girls dated a bit in their 20s, and then they kind of get in their 30s, and they settle down, and they do their thing. Those ones are great, but they have no desire to be a dating coach, because they already, they've already they already been through the trenches, and they don't know. They just guessed until they finally got it right. Keep dating men until one tries to put a ring on it. Thank God for that. So yeah, every time I see, there's like a, 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 a sizable amount of goofy dating coaches on here. And they're absolutely ridiculous, and everyone is worse than next, man. Everyone's worse than next. I want to call it... I want to call it cancer, but I think that's not fair to cancer at all. I'm feeling if this takes off, we'll probably do some more. Because what can I say? I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for getting you guys to have a little bit of an enjoyment and fun in a day. What can I say? Call me a big soft touch. Uh, I'm going to let you guys go, though. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the views. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.